okay? It is. It's not just an oil gas. It's the reason why when people smoke tobacco, they shouldn't be smoking because there's a lot of benzene in them. They used to sell benzene on the shelf. That's the reason you don't talk about this. is not even the injection No, because that's contained in the crude oil. And the molecules are split. I think benzene is a, like a C6 and an H6. And they can break that like eight different ways and come up with different chemical molecules and they put it in a product that they use every day. Radium, I mean, it's the same thing. If you're drilling and you're mining granite, almost anything that's mined, almost anything that's grown underneath the ground is going to contain some of those naturally occurring chemicals. But it's not in, you know, again, we're not putting it in frack water. We're not putting benzene in there. Right. So you're saying that we're putting it in the, it's coming out of the, with the produced water, and it's not. You have to understand that that's water, and what you're talking about is not. So, folks, I, uh, I will do one more because I do, I'm going to drive home, and it is my anniversary, and I would like to get home before midnight tonight. So I'll take one more. From what I understand, they're really excited about the Utica shale because it has the wet gases in it. It's thicker, is that right? And, and now there's, at this point, they're in Stark County, even westward. Yeah. Stark County looks real good. Stark County, Carroll County, Carroll Jefferson County, County Guernsey County. Um, they do, a couple of those also have some Marcellus. But again, that's pretty shallow. Um, the Utica still is uh, shallow, but the thing about the Utica, when you're seeing the decline in natural gas prices right now, that's what's made the Marcellus in Pennsylvania. They're not drilling as much because $14 million and, and you, can't, you can't afford to drill those wells. But you're right, the Utica, it's got the natural gas, it's got the wet gas, and it's got a lot of the oils in it. What we do know about the Utica shale, which is really interesting, even when you're hydraulically fracturing, you're actually creating a reservoir, so what you're really doing. But what we know about the other 30 different geological reservoirs in Ohio, they are reservoirs. Um, the Utica shale is considered one of the source rocks, and that's why we're getting incredible reserves. We got to look at a core sample in Ohio I've never seen anything like this in my life. And the small core as it was coming up out of the ground, I mean, you can just see the bubbles. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. But we have to do it right. Okay, we have to do it right. Today we have the technology to do it right. There is no reason why we should have an incident because of bad well construction. There's no, I mean, the technology is there. And there's no excuses under the regulatory. We've got good environmental laws. There's no reason why we can't do it right. My question though with the Utica is coming far from the west. I see it coming west. I see it coming. What we're seeing right now is like for example in Pennsylvania it's extremely deep and it's actually overcooked. <laughs> okay? Then it coming into Ohio, eastern natural gas, you see the wet gas, and then you're seeing the crude oil window through about the middle of the stage. A couple of early core samples, very wet, way west here, almost to the Indiana border. Um, those geological formations, the, the first cores that I've heard about, um, it's actually not maturing. So in other words, it's hard to believe that it's been down there for millions of years and it's not mature enough, but some of it isn't. But so far, um, the best well, um, and again, we're not really going to see a lot of pickup in the activity because we have to do this leasing and exploration phase first. But the farthest west where there's been a, a producing um, pretty nice show would be in Medina at this point. Uh, the other areas are being core and still being sampled. So you can see the, where the permits are going. So what that means is they've completed the exploration phase. But keep in mind, it may still take them two years to drill the well. Um, you're waiting in line for a drilling rig. 
you're waiting in line for the completion. You may be waiting in line for the completion because uh, you can't get enough water right now, too. And you can't leave people's off the first. I guess I just got to I'm all for this program. It has to be done. There's no excuse for it not to be. Sure, we do. I'm biased, okay. Everything I read, things are safe. That could be an accident. I can get my car here. It's going to be more of a threat going home driving today than what accident we may have. Well, when I look at some of the crude way that we operated, if you were hauling out tree trunks and things like that, um, you still didn't even hear about many incidents then. Um, again, we know about protecting our groundwater. Um, that's why you put multiple layers of steel casing in. I fully support that. Um, yeah, it costs a lot more money to drill that well. But that's okay. I use natural gas. I use oil. Most, like I said, seven out of every ten homes uses natural gas, including propane. And uh, also, uh, very few people do not own some sort of motor vehicle. So as long as I'm using it, I can, it's, it's hypocritical for me to say, get out of here, don't drill in here. Somewhere else, but I want to use yours over there. You guys, you can have a big car, though. You cannot have a car. Thank you very much. Wow. Where are you? 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 Over your card too? Mm -hmm. Did you go for your card too? <laughs> Hello. I just know Bakery. I'm with Factory Ohio. I will graciously allow for 10 minutes to speak on some of the issues that you're concerned about tonight that didn't get answered. And I, uh, you know, we really need to thank Ms. Reed for being here. It takes a lot of courage to come into some of these forums and present. Thank you. 